Hi everyone, I am super excited to be here with you today because this is kind of a fun video. This is a Walmart sponsored video and thank you Walmart so much for sponsoring this video. They didn't buy any of the products, these are all products I purchased myself, but they are sponsoring this video and it is a Halloween kind of a fun video. They just said Halloween is your topic and go out there and have a good time. And so what I did was I decided that I wanted to be Wonder Woman and there is the costume and I bought the costume from Walmart and I absolutely love the costume. I mean, it is cool. Even if you're not going out to a party on Halloween, I think you could really enjoy just having this around your house. It's kind of fun to play dress up sometimes. They have a theme that is here for every beauty and I really do appreciate that. They believe, like I believe, that beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, nationalities, genders. It doesn't really matter. Whoever you are, you can rock what you are and be beautiful. And I'm especially grateful because one of the Here for Every Beauties is the Mature Beauty. And it is really wonderful that Walmart does sponsor us more mature women. I really appreciate that. They truly realize that no matter our age, we still want to be beautiful. And in just a few minutes, I'll be showing you the makeup look that I created. And it is from a wonderful new set of products by Revlon. This is the Revlon WW84 collection, and it is in honor of the movie by the same name, and it is a movie that has been trying to be released, and now they say it will be released on Christmas. However, this is the sixth time they've said it, so I certainly hope they are able to get that out into the world. But in any event, Revlon got a great new makeup line out into the world, and it is what I have on, and it is really fun to wear. It's super colorful, as you can tell, and I'm especially excited about the new Wonder Woman trend because I remember years ago when Linda Carter was our Wonder Woman, and look at her there, absolutely lovely. And the new Wonder Woman is Gal Gadot, and there's a look at her. Isn't she just beautiful? And now here the two of them are together at a red carpet event, and look how wonderful Linda Carter looks after all these years. And that just makes me feel good to see that because that means that if we keep being proud of who we are and keep taking care of ourselves, we can look good no matter any age. And I think Walmart really appreciates that. Now, enough about the movie. Let me take off this makeup and I'll show you how I created this look, first with makeup, then with hair, and then I'll show you the costume. Okay, now it's time to get into my Wonder Woman Halloween makeup. And I think I'll try to go a little bit extreme. We'll see how that goes. A lot of the time you all see me in nice subdued brown eyeshadows, beige eyeshadows. But this time I'm going to go out on the limb and do some colorful eyes and we'll see how that goes. Now, before I get into the makeup, I did need to tell you about a couple of products that I am back to again. These are the CeraVe AM and PM moisturizing lotions. They have ceramides, which really helps rebuild the collagen in your skin. And unfortunately, I fell away from these for maybe a month and a half. I started another skincare regimen and stopped using these. And then the other day I was in my car. Why is it when we're in our car, that's when we see all the wrinkles. But I looked in my rearview mirror and not only did I have all these wrinkles here, but I had all these wrinkles here. And I thought, what am I doing differently? Because I'm looking like 10 or 15 years older. And I realized that I'd stopped using these old friends and I just started them again a couple of days ago and we'll see how that goes. I really bet it can reduce some of these wrinkles I have going. Okay, and then in terms of sunblock, I've been loving this LTMD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46, and I do get this on the Walmart website. Walmart now has a bunch of really high-end skincare brands. They have their dermatologist tested skincare area, and the CeraVe AM and PM are there, as is this LTMD Skincare Sunblock. This is a great one, especially if you use tretinoin because it plays well with that because it is a physical sunblock, not a chemical one, so it does not irritate your skin and make it more red. Now, just before I started to do this video, I looked in the mirror and I looked at my teeth and they looked really dingy. And I thought, oh my, that doesn't look like Wonder Woman. That looks like Wonder Grandma or something like that. So about 30 minutes ago, I did use a set of Crest White Strips and look at my teeth now. They're much better. I need to do this a few days in a row to get them blindingly white, but I have used much higher end tooth whiteners than these Crest White Strips, but I really love these. I think they do just as good a job as the very expensive ones that I used to get in the dentist's office. Well, now let's get into some foundation. I'm excited to try this. This is the first time I am trying this. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, and this is in Natural Buff 40. And this also has an SPF of 50 in it. That's a very high SPF. 
and I've heard good things about this age perfect line and I will be trying more of them. Here we go. I'll just put that like that and as you can see it's just a little buff color. I usually do pretty well when the color says natural buff or something like that because I like to be neutral between warm and cool. I don't like to be too much either way and I feel that buff is really good if you just want kind of a middle of the road skin tone, not too warm or not too cool. And this is a fabulous foundation brush, which I'll link below. This is the Real Techniques Blend and Blur brush. It is fabulous. In fact, I did a dedicated video about this. It is so good. And what I do is I give it a little spray with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I cannot get myself away from using this. One, two, three, four. I do four or five spritzes of that is all. And what this setting spray does is that it allows your foundation to go on very smoothly and evenly. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And this brush is one of the keys to me. If you don't have this brush, I would say it is one of the top beauty things you should probably try at least because I think you will love it. I used to use a very high-end brand of foundation brush. It's a very popular one. But I noticed that after a while of using it, when I would be applying my foundation, I would get big streaks on my face. And this brush does not do that. Look how beautifully smooth that goes on. And I really do like this foundation too. I also put it on my eyelids kind of as a primer because I'm not going to use a primer today. Look at that. That just gives you a beautiful skin-like look and it doesn't seem to be settling into fine lines and wrinkles although I have to wear it for the rest of the day. But so far, I really do like this. I think it's just beautiful. Okay, now let's go in with some concealer, and I love this. This is my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, and it is in the color Light Natural. I'll just go ahead and put it there. Ooh, a lot came out <laughs> underneath my eyes. I have those veins under my eyes, and that's not very Wonder Woman-like to leave those veins exposed. And here we go, I'll just smooth that out. And this compares to me very favorably with the Tarte Shape Tape. I used to use that for years. I'll put it on top of my eyelids too to kind of give them a good base. And then I'll come over here. And it just covers everything up in a beautiful way. And it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Sometimes it helps to add a little finger there. Now let's go down here. I have a divot in my chin that I'm always trying to kind of disguise, make look a little less divoted. Okay, that's the foundation and concealer. Next, I'm going to be trying the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. And I've heard very good things about this. This is the first time I'm using this as well. Oh my, it's very stuck right there. Okay, there we go. Oh, and it's got a little puff in there, of course. That's nice. I'm going to pull the insides out. Okay, that's how it looks inside, and I'll just take a little bit of that and shake it out into the lid. There you go. Just right there. I don't think I need a lot. And I've gotten it in the color translucent. Just dot that around the face there. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That really does look nice and smooth. And it gets rid of that oily look right away. Let me get a little more. There we go. Tap it off. I like to put it on my neck because I have a lot of wrinkles on my neck and it really does look like it smooths them out some. Put it on my eyelids too. To get those ready for the application of the Revlon Wonder Woman eyeshadow. And this is a great looking palette. And I have to say that right now this does not look like a Halloween makeup. It actually looks like a very pretty makeup for those of us who are over 50. That foundation and that powder and that concealer just seems to make the skin look nice and smooth and a little bit flawless. Okay, next let's do some brows and I'm just going to go ahead and use an old toothbrush to brush those unruly brows up. There we go, that's how they look. Now I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in Blonde. That was the color I had and I do get this at Walmart and it does work very well on my natural eyebrows. However, I am going to be a brunette so I hope that this is going to be dark enough. We'll see. I'll just go ahead and just kind of darken up the brows just a little bit. Yes, that makes them a little bit darker. Moments. In just a few moments, I will get some brow gel and make that stay in place a little better. 
I do like this tattoo studio and it comes with this little brush. It's very reasonably priced and in my experience it really helps cover up my gray brows which is not a fun thing to have but a lot of us do. And now I'm going to be adding a little NYX Control Freak. This is fabulous brow gel. I have used this every morning for probably two years. I find it hard to pull myself away from this because it is just so good. It is like hairspray for your brows. And so basically you put it on with a little mascara wand and then you push your brows in place where you want them to stay. And largely they do stay. So there are those brows. Okay, now it's time to do some eyes and I cannot believe that I'm going with this. But this is the Brevlon Wonder Woman eyeshadow palette. Look at those crazy colors. Is that vibrant or what? You know, the only color that I would probably even wear in real life is this brown and this cream. So I'm going to avoid those largely. Maybe I'll use a little bit of the cream on my brow. And this is a face and eyeshadow palette. And I suppose these are wonderful highlighters that you can use for your face. Oh my, look at those. Very glittery and gleamy. And then we have all of these bright eyeshadow colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to be a little out there and try some wild colors. I think I'm going to use a little of this teal green color on my eyelids. Oh my, this is super pigmented. I am impressed. I have really not tried too many Revlon shadows. Oh my, that is very pigmented. But it does not have a lot of fallout at all. I'll do the other side. And I'll just go clear across the eyelid. Now, in that outside area, I'm going to really live dangerously, and I'm going to use some of this fuchsia pink color. I'll just put that out there. I've got to remember that Wonder Woman would be bold. I should have cleaned off that brush. I think there's a little bit of the blue still in there. Man, that's a pretty color. Bring it in a little bit. A little bit on this side. That is very pretty. Now I'm going to go in and blend that out just a little bit with a blender brush here. And I'm using the monitor to kind of see that. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a long time. I need to do a few more of them. I'm a little bit out of practice. Now, since I'm living dangerously with color, I'm going to take some of this highlighter and I'm just going to go above the brow with it. Oh my, very, very pretty. It is rather glittery and gleamy. I'll bring it down here. It is Halloween, so I need to remember that. I'm not going to wear this to work. And to lighten that up, I think I'll go in with some of this peachy color on top of that. Ooh, pretty. That is nice. Now to make it all even a little more crazy, I'm going to go in and use some of this purple. I always watch YouTube videos and I hope that the YouTuber will go for the wild colors and they usually don't. And I certainly normally don't, but I'll just put that purple right in there. Give myself kind of a, an underbrow line there of the purple. Ooh, pretty. I like that. Yeah, it's like just a little narrow crease. And I think, oh, I went the wrong way. I think I will get my blending brush and blend it all in just a little bit more. Okay, let's take that blender and just go ahead and blend that in. Now, next I'm going to intensify the colorful look even further with a little bit of this glaze stick. It's another Revlon Colorstay product in this Wonder Woman line. And here that is, look at that pretty color here. I'll show that to you. Oh my, that is pretty intense and it's got a little bit of iridescence to it. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of this almost as a smoked out eyeliner. I'll just go in about halfway. Well, maybe I'll go in all the way. Oh my, that's pretty. Then I'll go in on the other side. It's a little awkward here to do this in front of you all. That is a pretty color. Very pretty and very colorful. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this on a brush 
and I'll just go in underneath the eyes and I'll see if I can't make a little blue line down there. A little fallout down there. Very pretty. Very out there too, <laughs> like a comic book action hero and a female one at that. I remember Wonder Woman from when I was a girl in the 80s and we would watch that show every week. That's when all of America watched one show at the same time every night. And it was just wonderful to see her do her thing. Okay, now I'm going to add some eyeliner and this is the Milani Supreme Coal Eyeliner. And I love it that it has a self-sharpening little tip here. And I'll go ahead and apply that. Use my little mirror here. And I'll take that a little bit under the outside corner. Although I do like that blue, I don't want to mess that up. Then I'll do the other side, a little bit underneath there. So there's that eyeliner. Very nice dark color. Okay, there's the eyeshadow, and I'm going to go off camera and apply this mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated, and I'll be right back. Okay, next let's go into some contour because this is a comic book hero and I've got to remember I can have chocolate bars now because I want that look that is a little overly done. And this is the NYX Wonder Stick and I got that at Walmart. Absolutely a wonderful contour. It's got a great highlighter too. I'll just go ahead and put that there. Maybe I went a little high there. A little bit on the nose. A little bit along the chin. Maybe a little bit on the forehead too. So there I am, all contoured up. Ooh, I forgot my brush. Let me go get it. And again, it is that Real Techniques Blend and Blur line. And this is their small face brush, I believe. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will link it below. All the products will be linked below. Look how beautifully that just smooths that out. And we'll go in here, get some nose action. Give myself a thin nose because I don't have that in real life or thinner nose. Now we'll go in to blend this out. And since I put that a little high, I may go down. Normally you go up. Gives you a nice highlight. Wonder Woman, woohoo! You know, it is fun to get dressed up for Halloween. I haven't done that in many years. And with how odd things are lately, it's kind of nice to do something a little different, a little fun. Okay, let's go ahead and blend out the chin. Just give yourself a little more sculpted chin there. And bring it down underneath the chin to get rid of that double chin. Okay, there's the contour. And for the highlight, I'm going to be using a product from the Revlon line, the Revlon Wonder Woman line. And where is the darn thing? Ah, I keep losing things lately. Oh, here it is. It is called the Revlon Wonder Woman 84. And it says Golden Lasso. And it is just a really glimmery looking highlighter. Here it is. And it is a cream highlighter. See, it's just very glimmery and gleamy. So I'll go ahead, I'm a little bit afraid, I'll go ahead and put that up here. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ooh, that's pretty on the cheek there. I like that. Just gives you a little bit of gleam. When you turn, it looks a little bit like a comic book character, but I think it's pretty. And I'll put just a little bit down the center of my nose very pretty. I have all that on. Now I need a little bit of blush and let me see, my lipstick is going to be this wild red and so I'm not sure which blush to use with it. I think I'm going to go in with this Milani Rose d'Or because it is sparkly and glittery. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And this is my favorite blush brush ever and I got it at Walmart years ago and even the name of it has rubbed off but I love it. It's no longer in production or I would tell you what it was. Okay, and we're just going to start up at the top. 
Give ourselves, ooh, pretty. Give ourselves a little bit of blush there. Ooh, that is really pretty. And it looks good with that highlighter too. Oh my. I haven't used this in a long time. And I wonder why, because it's so pretty. And I always like to do a little bit in the middle of my forehead, although that is going to be covered up by my Wonder Woman headband. And in just a few moments, I will show you my costume before I put it on, and I love it. It's amazing. I'll do a little bit here. We're gonna be a little more, little more out there than we would normally be. I put a little more blush on than I would normally, because this is a Halloween look, and I really want it to be a little more powerful, especially since I'm supposedly Wonder Woman. And by the way, before I apply the lips, and we're almost done with the Wonder Woman makeup, I did want to make a comment about this mascara though. I had not used this before. This is the Milani Highly Rated. Look at what it did to my eyelashes. They are just long and luscious looking. Love this mascara. Okay, let's go ahead and use some of this red lipstick. And this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse in the color, what is it? Oh, Scorpion Red. Okay, let's see if I can apply this on camera. That's always a little bit challenging. I'll go ahead and get my mirror here. It has a nice little pointed end that really allows you to do a pretty good line there. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. And with Christmas coming up, I think that could be just wonderful. Maybe I'll put just a little bit more on. You know, I really like these Revlon HD Matte Lipsticks because even though they are matte, they feel rather creamy on your lips. They do not feel drying and they do stay on a long time. Okay, let's add a little bit of lip liner and I'm going to be using, again, a Revlon product, the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Very Cherry. So here we go. And I really don't want one of those extra wide lip lines. I just want to sharpen the corners of my lips. Pretty. Look how much better that looks. Ooh, that is super pretty. And I absolutely love these Revlon Sensational Lip Liners because look at that. It has that tip and you don't have to use a sharpener with it and it really does make a nice clean line on your lips. Okay, I'm done with the makeup and in just a few moments, I'm going to go off camera and put on the wig on this costume. But first I'll just show you the outside of this costume. That is the Wonder Woman version from the movie, the Justice League version. Isn't she just beautiful? And I am super impressed with the quality of this costume. And it was very, very reasonable in price. Look at this, it comes, it comes like this. You just open it up there. And I have to say, I did try it on yesterday, and I love it. It's amazing. This is not like the cheap costumes that everyone had when, when our kids were little. Look at this. Isn't that some costume? That is pretty darn fancy, and it was under $30. I'll link it below. It's amazing. It even has padding here, just wonderful padding. And then there's a zipper along this side, and this is a very stretchy little back. So no matter what your figure, it will stretch in or hug your curves, no matter what size you are. I happen to buy this in a small, but look at that, absolutely darling. And then it has all the accessory pieces, and I'll go through that pretty quickly, but they are really amazing. This is the headband, which I will be putting on in a moment. These are little armbands for your upper arms. Aren't those amazing? And they're thick. They're not like the cheap material that costumes used to be made out of. And then here is something that goes on your arm too. And there are some leggings, which I will show you in just a moment when I come back with a costume on. Okay, this is my Wonder Woman costume, yay! Now I'm going to go back and I'll show you a full length look at the whole thing, but then I'll come up a little closer to show you some of the details because this costume is amazingly detailed for only $35. Okay, here we go. And I hope you can see it. I hope it looks okay in the back. But look at that cute little flippy skirt. And it isn't just material, it's padded and it's got this kind of metallic look to it and little sequity type things down here. Absolutely darling, super detailed. And look at these little boots. They are amazing. And thank goodness, this has little shorts under it. 
And what you do is that you just get a pair of your own heel black boots. We all have them in our closet. And then there's a little elastic thing that fits underneath the bottom of your boot. And look at this. It is this little padded legging. And one thing I really like about it is you hardly see any of your legs in this outfit. So if you're a little bit body shy to get out there and be super exposed, and there were some costumes on Walmart's website for Wonder Woman that are more exposed. And if you wanna be exposed, if you're a little younger and can handle that, that is just great. But for us kind of more mature women, I think this one's pretty perfect. But here it is. You only see about this much of the legs. It's coming a little closer. Look at this cute little skirt. And again, it is a padded skirt. So it is not just limp material. It really does look quality. And it even has a little belt here, a little Velcro belt that you put on. And I bought this in a small. And look at these little epaulets. They are very fancy. And again, it is the padded material. It even has one of these. I don't know what you call this. Oh, an armband. I guess that'd be what it would be called. It almost looks like a tattoo from a distance. And it kind of got me thinking, ooh, wouldn't that be fun to have a tattoo? And then I thought, no, that would not be fun to have a tattoo. But anyway, okay, here is a look at the costume. And I'll show you the back. And it helps to have an old wig hanging around, I have to admit. I have no idea where I got this. Well, this would be absolutely great if you were going to a Halloween party, but most of us aren't doing that lately with this weird situation that we have going on. But when you think about that, imagine how much fun it would be for your spouse or significant other to come home, not to just plain old us, but to come home to Wonder Woman. I think that's a pretty great idea. And to all of you who support my channel, I really, really hope you have a wonderful, I wouldn't call it a holiday season, but a wonderfully fun time coming up in the next few weeks of fall and then Halloween. And also, I would of course like to thank Walmart for sponsoring this video. They truly do celebrate beauty for everybody, including us a little bit more mature women, and I really do appreciate that. Well, take care, and I'll see you next time.